It's another fun day, the day after Sunday. Another day when the devil run. Hallelujah. It's the run day for the devil. Run, Satan, run. Jesus and his army is coming. Run, Satan, run. Jesus and his army is coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord Most High. Good morning, Holy Spirit of God. And welcome. Welcome into our presence. Welcome into our day. Welcome into our way. Take full control, Holy Spirit of God. All of you and none of us. There is no God like you, Jehovah. No God. No God in all the heavens and all the earth. You alone are worthy to be praised and worthy to be adored. We magnify you, O great and sovereign God. We submit and dedicate every element and aspect of this day, this time, and this season to you. Without reason, you are the reason for this season that we are in. The month of flourish because our system, our body, soul, and spirit, you nourish and so, Father, we come just now to say, thank you, O King. Thank you that you are not just a part of our lives, but you are truly our everything. Your love reaches way down deep within and passes all the human understanding. Hallelujah. Lord, this morning to you we sing, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. He who was and is and is to come. Great is your mercies towards us your loving kindness towards us you are alpha and omega you are the beginning and the end the first and the last you are god all by yourself jehovah is your name jehovah is your name you are the one that took the blame you washed away our shame jehovah is your name yeshua yeshua oh yeshua we magnify you yeshua we command all things that are created to bow and declare that yeshua the lord jesus christ of nazareth is lord and god all by himself and said so this morning father this day this afternoon this time this season every person on our platform hallelujah the, the the fourth watch platform oh god almighty on each medium facebook instagram arrows international radio father we declare your glory all the places where we are located from australia to to to, to the united kingdom to the united states to 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 uh, Canada, our uh, God, all of Europe and all of the, the Philistine, the F Philistines, uh, the Philippines, hallelujah, Aruba, come on, all of the Caribbean, Trinidad, our uh, God, all and Jamaica, nations and nations and nations across the world bow before you this morning because you are God all by yourself. We thank you this morning, O Holy One of Israel. Thank you for waking us up. Thank you for the Campbells who are the, the, the visionaries who you gave the vision to carry for Arras International Radio. Thank you, O God Almighty. We pray this morning for Mark Zuckerberg. We pray for his salvation. We pray for his soul. We pray for him, O God, because of your intellect and your touch on his life we have this medium that we can spread your word across the world some persons don't like him because they say all kinds of things but this morning god almighty as you drop in my spirit i've never prayed for him like this before and so this had to be you right at this moment to say what would we have done without the giftings the talents the ability the obedience of mark zuckerberg to obey god and demonstrate this gift that god has given to him he may not be serving God right now but what he has given us has allowed us to serve God in a whole different way and a whole new level and so we should be praying for Mark Zuckerberg every one of you that is on this morning on Facebook should be praying for Mark everyone that is on Instagram should be praying hallelujah for the person who created instagram i'm not sure if mark owns instagram now i think he does doesn't he hon hallelujah yes mark zuckerberg owns instagram now and so we should be praying for mark because persons can come onto instagram and hear and they can come on facebook and hear what god is saying and what god is doing i there's so many youtube not to mention youtube yes hallelujah 
And so as we pray for the Campbell's, Pastors Campbell of, excuse me, Arrows International Radio, so we must pray for Mark Zuckerberg and pray for the owner of YouTube because these people have given us an opportunity to spread the gospel in ways that we couldn't before old time christians would say that's a pagan medium don't watch tv because it's it's the devil's box and it's full of this and full of that some people says i am not on facebook because facebook is this and facebook is that facebook is what you make it not what it makes you it is what you make it remember as children of god created in the image and the likeness of the great I am that I am we shift atmospheres we change circumstances circumstances and atmospheres do not change us come on hallelujah and so because we have the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and power over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt us we attack and take we pursue overtake and recover all we destroy the works of the enemy we hallelujah grab by the scruff of the neck all the works of lucifer and his principalities and powers and we destroy them by fire in the mighty name of jesus christ God is raising up some new believers in this season. Believers that will not run from music or from, from shows or from uh, the news or from the newspaper or from medium of, of the diverse medium that are created to, to, to give us the opportunity to take the gospel to the ends of the earth. But we will command them to work for us. We will command the newspapers to to, to ask us for articles we will command the, the various platforms that are available to not ban us or censor us but to declare the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ by our voice come on we have to think differently about this situation because unless the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ is magnified to every corner of the earth then and only then can the end come and so Jesus wants to give every person every person in the world an opportunity to hear the gospel of his life the gospel of his love the gospel of his sacrifice at calvary and his death burial and resurrection and so one all must hear it and how are they going to hear it without a preacher how can one preach unless they're sent hallelujah how can we preach unless we have been prepared and how can we preach without a platform come on hallelujah and so hallelujah we have to meditate on these things we have to think differently how can we preach unless we know what it is that is going on that we must preach against and so lord help us to to, to, to see through different eyes help us to realize hallelujah and to be wise in this time and to recognize that your platforms that you have given us even true worldians even true sinners are still a prize amen hallelujah and so God Almighty, we thank you for those who have created these platforms. Twitter, hallelujah, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, hallelujah, internet radios, regular media, uh, mainstream media, and newspapers. Oh God Almighty, we thank you for them. And we thank you, Lord God Almighty, that as of now, we are going to become creative and inventive in how we use these medium to accomplish your mission in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As we come this morning, oh God Almighty, to start the time of prayer, to start the week off with prayer, we pray, oh God Almighty, for every member of this family, every member of the Arrows International Fort Watch family, every member of the Instagram Fort Watch family, every member of the Facebook Fort Watch family, and every member of the YouTube Fort Watch family, we pray you're covering over them this morning. We pray, oh God Almighty, that you, oh God, will receive glory and honor for waking us up this morning in mercies that are new. I pray, God, that my words will go and permeate the atmosphere around every member of this family, wherever they are right now. Hallelujah. Whether they're domiciled on this soil or they're on other soils, God, as long as they have arisen up and their feet have touched the ground may they take possession and dominion over the place where their feet stands now may they take dominion and possession of everything that their hands touch god almighty may their atmosphere shift by your spirit in the name of jesus christ may every dark cloud receive fire in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth may your anointing oil fall afresh upon every member of this family everyone within the sound of 
of my voice may the oil of the living God fall afresh upon you like a mighty rushing wind right now God Almighty as you have awakened me in the presence of your spirit in the anointing of your glory God Almighty I send through these medium an impartation of your fire I send a fire into every home into every space everywhere that your people are right now listening whether live or delayed I send a fire oh God Almighty through the implement and the instrument through which they are listening or hearing and God Almighty may your anointing go through by my voice and shift their atmosphere and change their circumstances may breakthroughs and open doors be their portion may release come to them oh God Almighty as Peter was released by the presence of an angel hallelujah may they be released from every shackle every every prison that they have been locked up in in the name of jesus every demonic prison oh god almighty every demon that have been assigned to any member of this family that has visited them in the in their sleep that has visited them as familiar spirit that has visited them as marine spirit god almighty let your angels right now declare fire move fire sanctify their lives sanctify their atmospheres in the name of jesus Jesus Christ any touch any illegal contact any immoral contact that we have had with any kind of demonic force in our sleep oh God Almighty we sanctify and cleanse our bodies we sanctify and cleanse our mouth we sanctify and cleanse our souls from every demonic plot and scheme and trap every parasite every contamination must go uproot and go uproot and go uproot and go now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we declare this morning that anything that is in our lives that produces sin it must go now go now go now I command anything in our bodies that produces ailments sickness hypertension diabetes cancers of any kind come on circulation issues joints and marrow issues we command and uproot right now in the name of Jesus anything that produces glaucoma anything that produces fibroids I command you to uproot from God's people right now in the name of Jesus Christ anything that produces hearing loss anything that produces sinus draining hallelujah I command you to uproot right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth anything that produces blockages in the liver i command you to uproot right now in the name of jesus christ cirrhosis of the liver uproot right now anything that produces kidney failure i speak to that right now i speak to you you unclean spirit of kidney failure come up and out now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth anything that pr produces anything called pulmonary edema come on everything that affects the heart every foul unclean spirit hiding behind the hearts of God's people I command you by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ to uproot every heart failure every heart murmur every heart valve disorder uproot now I'm not asking you I command you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth the name that is above every name that at the sound of his name your your knee must bow and your tongue must confess that he is Lord we have already confessed that Jesus Christ is Lord and we walk in the authority that he has given us as creations in his image and likeness and so as sons of the Most High God I order you now uproot from God's people uproot right now any contamination any unclean thing under the sound of my voice you must go now now spirit of anger spirit of frustration spirit of annoyance spirit of selfishness spirit of fear spirit of pride I order you now if you exist under the sound of my voice I command you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth go now up and out I send you to dry places come on come on right now come on <sighs> out in the name of Jesus Christ come on <coughs> any clean anything anything come on I command a cleansing I command a cleansing I command a cleansing come on people of God you don't know what may have come upon you what what you may have said what you may have done that has caused an open door 
So everything that you hear, you have to, by faith, just go through a process. Come on. Paul says we must die daily. Paul says we must repent daily. Paul says we must constantly be in prayer. Pray without ceasing. Why did he say that when you could just pray once and it's, it's all over? Why did he say you must be in a constant state of repentance when if you repent for what you know, then you're good to go? No. Paul says repent constantly because we sin without even knowing that we sin. So don't be sitting up there talking about he's talking about these things that's not me i'll wait until he get to something that i can recognize no because something that you can recognize can be the open door that leads to other things that you don't recognize and so we by faith must always be cleansing be purifying everything that you hear if you have never gotten angry it doesn't mean the spirit of anger is not upon you and is not oppressing you come on it's just waiting for the right time to break out come on hallelujah and so as i declaring these things you got to get all into the faith move and go <coughs> out loose me <coughs> loose me in the name of jesus christ every spirit of frustration loose now in the name of jesus every infirmity loose now in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth Every spirit of regret, come on. Every spirit of regret, regret for where I am today in life. Regret for what I did not accomplish. Regret for what I have lost. Monies that I invested that didn't come to pass. Monies that uh, some people regret the person that they marry. Come on, and they're stuck and they are not happy. They're miserable. That spirit of regret must go because you'll never make what you have work if you are regretting how it started, if you are regretting who is there, if you are regretting what you did or what you didn't do you cannot move forward with your life if you're living in regret so every spirit of regret i command you uproot come on uproot now spirit of regret regret that you had an abortion that child would have been 10 15 20 25 in the name of jesus christ when i was a young man hallelujah in college just about to go off to university on a track scholarship a, a young lady got pregnant for me and she called me to say she was gonna get an abortion and 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 you know i was far away and i didn't know what was gonna happen and so on and i was young and giddy and stupid and i agreed with her and she did it and today i look back this was 1985 you know how old my son my, or my daughter would be now they would be an adult maybe they would be a doctor rich and take taking care of me, giving me free medical checkups and all these kinds of things. I could live in regret because I was a party to a life not coming into being. And no matter how hard times were or would have been, that, that child would have still survived, would have still, I survived difficult times. And so we could live in regret. But guess what? God does not want to live in regret. God does not want to live in regret. God wants us to live by our sweat. Come on, hallelujah. And so we got to work in order to sweat. And so we are working this morning, Lord Jesus Christ, on forgetting the past, forgetting the former things and pressing towards the mark of the high calling. I command every spirit of regret upon your people in this atmosphere. Go now. I command your spirit of regret. Come on. The Holy Spirit is asking you to loose yourself from that regret. Come on. It is not healthy. It is not healthy. You do not want to carry it anymore. Today is the day of your deliverance. For Forget the former things. Every spirit of regret, go now. Regret that you were abused. Regret that as a little child your father left. Regret that you were, 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 were verbally abused or sexually abused. Regret that you were physically abused by your parent or parents. Every regret that has keep, kept you looking back in or in the rear view mirror or looking back like a child in the back seat, kneeling down, saying goodbye to friends. There is no more goodbye to friends. It is looking forward now and so every spirit of regret come on up and out up and out up and out so many marriages are in trouble because of the spirit of regret come on up and out in the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah hallelujah some of us do not want to get married again because of the spirit of regret come on i break that spirit of regret now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth father i command every every person under the sound of my voice to be excited about their now to be excited about their future to be excited about your thoughts towards them thoughts that are good and not evil to give them a hope and a future i pray oh god almighty that the hope and the future 
that you have promised every member of this family in this fourth watch hour will be will be taken hold of will flourish and will prosper in not just this month but in the years to come until you return in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth hallelujah oh Lord we pray this morning for sister Shanice Francis we pray oh God Almighty that every blockage in her liver that is causing swelling feet we command that blockage to go now I command that blockage in sister Shanice Francis's liver to burn by fire burn by fire burn by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and I declare oh God Almighty that your favor is upon her and upon her family upon her mother Anna Dale McNaught I command a, a blessing to fall from heaven upon Anna Dale McNaught in the mighty name of Jesus I speak health to your Anna Anna Dale I speak health I speak the peace of God I speak the righteousness and the holiness of the Lord Jesus Christ to fall afresh upon you like miracle hallelujah may your circumstances change may your situation hallelujah be new and different in this season in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth father we lift up Dominic Jarrett to you this morning and we declare and decree that the enemy shall not shall not shall not destroy this young man's life we declare God we've been putting him before you for years now and it just seems as if Satan is winning that means something is wrong because Satan cannot win Satan cannot win anyone who turns from sin Satan just lose hallelujah because we choose we choose to honor you Lord Jesus Christ we choose to stand in the gap God Almighty the woman who came looking for help for her daughter she was not of the fold but for which the food would have, have of miracle the food of healing would have been granted or shared out but she demonstrated faith and her daughter ate from the from the table of those who you came to give miracle signs and wonders to Lord Jesus Christ we believe by faith that Dominic Jarrett uh, was born to eat from the table of miracle signs and wonders Dominic Jarrett, Jarrett is a son of the Most High God he has declared Jesus Christ as Lord he has been bought water baptized and filled with the Holy Ghost therefore he's a son and therefore God Almighty this free reign that Satan has in his mind this free reign that Satan has in his soul is illegal and immoral and not according to your will and purpose for your children and so God I command and uproot by your authority and by your power I command and uproot from Dominic Jarrett's soul from Dominic Jarrett's brain in the name of Jesus Jesus Christ of Nazareth Lord we are sick and tired of hearing Dominic being sick and tired we are sick and tired of Satan seeming to be winning this battle for Dominic Jarrett's mind will and emotion oh God Almighty we're sick and tired of this this attack against his scholarship against his future he's a brilliant young man and he needs to flourish he needs to prosper he needs to be in good health even as his soul prospers and so Lord God Almighty come on people of God I want you to write the name Dominic Jarrett we are standing in agreement this morning that no matter how many years it takes Dominic Jarrett will be made whole Dominic Jarrett will not die but live to declare the works of the Lord Dominic Jarrett will flourish and will prosper Dominic Jarrett will be a victor in and not a victim Dominic Jarrett is the head and not the tail he's above and not beneath Dominic Jarrett shall prosper shall flourish shall expand shall increase he shall walk in the footsteps of Moses he shall walk in the footsteps of Abraham Isaac and, J and Jacob in the name of Jesus he shall walk in the goodness that the Lord Jesus Christ died on Calvary's cross to give him and all of us and so we declare Dominic Jarrett come on as you say his name as you write his name come on don't just write it say it because we shall have what we say prophetically we write it that as it goes up the screen it goes up as an incense to the Lord and so as his name goes up on a, as an incense to the Lord on the screen we want his name to go up in the air and the atmosphere from our voices our words that get that that produces life oh God Almighty we call the name Dominic Jarrett to you this morning Lord God Almighty we call the name Dominic Jarrett because this thing is frustrating now Lord you said you'll never give us more than we can bear 
Well, this Dominic Jarrett story is more than we can bear. We are at the door now and asking you to open that door that gives us a way of escape. Give Dominic Jarrett a way of escape this morning, God Almighty, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. A way of escape. A way of escape in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let your way of escape be upon Dominic Jarrett this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. We're tired of it, Lord. We're tired of it. He must flourish. Hallelujah. His brain, you will nourish. His soul, you will nourish. Hallelujah. Lord, he's frustrated. He's wondering why is it that he has to go through this for so long? Why he has to take medication just to think properly? This is unfair. This is not according to your will and purpose. Lord, you are the God who raised the dead. You are the God who raised the dead. You created a mighty army out of dry bones. Dominique's situation is simple, easy for you, God. It is not for lack of crying out. His mother has been before you on her face for years looking for a solution for this problem. We have come in agreement for the last two years, God. The last two years, we have come in agreement concerning this young man. And we have not seen any answer. God, if we are messing up, if we are not asking the right way, if we are not asking out of, <coughs> excuse me, out of the right compassion, whatever it is that is missing, Lord Jesus Christ, your love, your agape love for Dominic, if not us, for Dominic, God, if you are, if you are saying you're mad at us because of what we have done or what we are not doing in the earth in this time, don't be mad at Dominique. We know you're not mad, God, but I'm just saying to you, we, 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 we've exhausted all the options now, and so we're digging deeper into the midst of what could, it, what could be Satan's answer, Satan's infiltration into Dominique's life. And we ask you, God Almighty, uproot, uproot anything that Lucifer has planted in Dominique's brain. Uproot anything that he has planted in Dominique's soul. Uproot it by fire. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And let this young man come to recognize that you are truly his healer. You are truly his deliverer. You are truly his present help in times of trouble. You are truly the one that he looks to and that he's radiant and he will never be covered with shame. We thank you, Lord, for your fullness in the manifestation of your healing miracle upon Dominic Jarrett. And we say that it is so and done in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we continue to lift up before you, Yashika Brown. Lord God Almighty, we speak to her blood cells, her blood platelet, her blood pressure, her white and red blood cells. We speak to, oh God Almighty, that unclean spirit of lupus. And we declare that Yashika Brown is too young, too beautiful, too brilliant, and has too much to do for you to take her out. We command you, spirit of death, leave Yashika Brown alone. We command you hands off hands off hands off hands off the hospital is not where she belongs she belongs in the classroom and we command you right now to let go of that woman of god as the lord jesus christ of nazareth open the the the, the, the cracks in the in the in the walls of the dungeon where paul and silas was and open the prison door and let them out we command that prison door that prison dungeon of lupus to open and let out yashika brown now in the name of jesus christ you spirit of lupus out in the mighty name of jesus i command you to vomit out vomit out now up with all your roots take your tentacles out of yashika brown's body come on out of her soul i command you to uproot empty 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 yourself from yashika's body soul and spirit mind will and emotion come on at the sound of my voice her ears are open that means you can hear me and i command you your spirit of lupus everything that is fighting against yashika wanting to take her where she shouldn't be it is not her time i prophesy it is not her time you cannot take her in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i declare a miracle for yashika brown lord let a miracle come for yashika brown in the name of jesus christ 
restore in the mighty name of Jesus according to your will O God we know you can and we know O God Almighty if it is your will Yashika Brown will run again laugh again jump again dance again teach again she will marry and have children a hey God in preparation for your return in the name of Jesus Christ she will go around the world and testify of your goodness God healing Yashika is it has much more upsides than downsides so lord we say to you this morning if yashika's time on earth is not yet expired in your book we command a miracle to be her portion we command healing to be her portion according to your word that says healing is the children's bread lord god almighty any sin anything that yashika may have been carrying from the past we ask you to release her from it and send it back into the pit of hell from whence it came so that she might walk in the fullness of her healing in the name of jesus christ lord we lift up keith uh keith yes Keith before you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, Keith Tucker is your son. God Almighty, he desires to be healed, to be delivered, to be set free, to be made whole. Keith, God has been on his back for the longest while, but he has not changed. He has written a book about your goodness from his back. Oh, God Almighty, we speak to that spirit of paralysis and we command you to loose the man of God, loose the man of God, loose the man of God. We hold Keith Tucker's hand in the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. And we say, Keith Tucker, arise. Keith Tucker, arise. Rise up as the man at the gate of Temple Beautiful. Hallelujah. Had cerebral palsy. It was not that he was crippled, but it was like he was crippled because he couldn't move. He, someone had to carry him there and take him away. And so the same thing has to happen with Keith. Either a human or a wheelchair has to carry him and take him. But Lord God Almighty, we declare that as you did for the man at the pool of Bethesda, as you did for the man at the temple beautiful so do for keith tucker in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth cause his joints to work again his bloodstream to work again his veins to work again his nervous system to work again his muscles to work again god cause his hands and feet to work again cause every element and aspect oh god almighty of this man of god's body from his neck down to work again may everything that works in his brain begin to work in his body in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth restore the joy of your salvation in Keith's body in the name of Jesus may his body prosper and be in good health even as his soul prospers in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth hallelujah hallelujah father we lift up our sister yes hallelujah Keith Tucker Keith Tucker is his name as you write his name come on this is our prophetic prayer hallelujah as we write the name of those that are sick hallelujah it goes up as an incense to the Lord but we must also declare it Lord says we shall have what we say so what we write is the vision that we make clear that we make plain that the angels will see it read it and run with it come on hallelujah this is according to the word of god so when we write keith tucker when we write dominique uh, jarrett when we write yashika brown hallelujah when we write shanice francis on the screen that the angels see it read it and run with it to heaven come on hallelujah that's a brand new revelation come on you got to utilize when the revelation comes you got to grab it and says oh i learn a new method Hallelujah, because what God gives us, he wants us to use for his glory in the name of Jesus Christ. So we speak healing to Keith Tucker this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we lift up Sister Vernessa, Vernessa Sargent before you in the name of Jesus Christ. She and her four children uh, need somewhere to live. Father God, this is your daughter. She has been faithful. She has not missed. She has stood in the gap. She has prayed. She has stood for righteousness holiness and truth and now it is your time to honor your word god almighty i know in one instance you say foxes of hole and birds of nest but the son of man has nowhere to lay his head and that was for a part for a time and for a season but then when john's angel john's disciples came and says lord where do you live can we come with you and spend some time you said come and you took them to where you were staying where you lived and so god almighty if you hallelujah 
coming with a mission and being transient and desires to move from place to place not having any place of a board still had somewhere to rest when that time came the children of Israel were not designed to live in the wilderness but they still had tents where they could sleep overnight and stay even for several days so everyone desires and needs to have a place to lay their head and so God on the principle of what you have established we declare that sister Vanessa Sargent and her four children will not be homeless we cancel the spirit of homelessness from every child of God we cancel the spirit of homelessness from every child of God we cancel the spirit of homelessness from every child of God we declare that this woman of God shall not be homeless she shall be blessed she shall be the best she shall pass every test and this house for her to live in shall manifest in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we call it forth out of the realm of the spirit into the realm of the natural house come forth house come forth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ a minimum four bedroom hallelujah in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and we thank you God that it shall be affordable for the woman of God it shall be a blessing that make rich and add no sorrow she shall not struggle to pay the mortgage or the rent if whichever you choose to transition from one to the other hallelujah so if you choose to put her in a rental property until her own, her own house comes into being then so be it Lord but we prophesy God Almighty that you will give her a four bedroom house minimum God she will take five because the four children must have their own room and she must have her own room as well and so five bedrooms would be perfect but she will take four I'm speaking on her behalf I have not spoken to her but I believe that she would take four and two, two of the children can be in one room and the others get their single room along with her and so God Almighty we bless your daughter Vanessa Sargent this morning and we declare favor 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 in her life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth Lord God Almighty this morning as we continue we want to lift up oh God Almighty uh, the nations of the world we want to lift up the countries oh God Almighty uh, that your people are dwelling in we want to lift up the nation of Israel and we want to speak peace over Jerusalem Lord your word says those who bless hallelujah Israel my God will be blessed and those who curse Israel will be cursed father we see in the news where the, 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 the United Nations is getting ready to condemn or to curse Israel oh glorious God we know that your word cannot return unto you void but must accomplish what it must accomplish and so God Almighty there are some Christians who think that they know more than you who are saying because of what is happening in the in the in the Palestinian uh, encounter because of what is happening in the Middle East and because of who Israel is and who is supporting Israel they think that Israel is unfair and unfortunate and they are cursing Israel ah God Almighty so did some people who were looking on when you gave Israel through David through King Saul the 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 the, the command to kill hallelujah all of Achan's people the king Achan all of his people down to the animals down to the baby on the breast some may have been looking on and saying what a wicked people them these people are cursed and these people should die but they didn't know that you were the one that gave that order and even when they didn't carry out that order some of the cattle were left back and even the king and some of his people were left back God Almighty you still had Samuel do the balance of the work to do to finish it up and so who are we to come against what you have declared and said we don't know what you have said and so all we can do is pray for the peace of Jerusalem peace towards Jerusalem and peace in Jerusalem in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and you will take care of the Palestinian issue you will take care of the issue between them and Iran you will take care of the issue with them and their neighbors in the Middle East all we do is pray for peace in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth so Lord we pray for peace in the Middle East we pray O God Almighty 
that as the enemies encamp round about Israel with an intent to destroy them, we pray God Almighty that they will fall by the wayside like the Assyrian army had to run at the very sound of the feet of the four lepers. So let the armies of the armies that are amassing against Israel have to run in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May they have no success. May they have no prosperity. May they not win a battle, O oh God Almighty, but may they lose every battle and the war as they seek to fight against Israel in the name of Jesus. God Almighty, we pray for the salvation of every Jew, every Jew that believes in anything other than you, every Jew that believes in anything other than that the Messiah, Yeshua, the Mashiach, has already come to the earth and died on Calvary's cross, was crucified, laid in a tomb, and rose again. May anyone, O oh God, any Jew that believe otherwise, by whatever means, O oh God Almighty, may their minds be changed. May they have a Damascus Road encounter that they too might be saved. That God Almighty, the, the, the atrocities and the sexual immoralities and the different things, the different evil things that come against the idolatries that exist in that nation. May there be a shift, a turnaround, for there is no shadow you can't light up. So the shadow of immoralities that is over Israel, you will light it up. There is no mountain you won't climb up. God Almighty, if you have to climb up Mount Sinai again, ah, Mount Heron again, God Almighty, I pray that you will climb up for the Israelites, climb up for the Jewish people, Climb up for the Hebrew people. God Almighty, climb up and get them, O oh God Almighty. For there is no mountain you won't climb up. Hallelujah. There is no wall you won't kick down. Father God, if the wall that is, 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 is separating them, God Almighty, if the wheeling, wheeling wall is what has caused this, 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 this idolatry to continue, if they are worshipping at the wall more than they are worshipping you, then kick down that wall in the mighty name of Jesus Christ because no altar shall stand before you God you gave Gideon orders to tear down the altar that was set up for Baal and to tear down the groves that were set up God if the wailing wall is an altar if the wailing wall is a God then we send fire to it in the mighty name of Jesus to purge and cleanse it that they will see that you are the only wise God and the only God worthy of praise and honor and glory in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth Father God we declare O oh God Almighty that China ha, hallelujah the gifts talents and abilities that you have given to China that they have been that they have given credit to Buddha, they have given credit to all different kinds of gods, worshipping other gods instead of you, even fighting literally against you, shutting down churches that wants to honor you for what what nation that what that nation has become. God Almighty, we cancel every assignment of the enemy a to destroy China. We command that spirit of the dragon to die by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Spirit of the dragon, die by fire, spirit of the dragon. Dragon, die by fire spirit of the dragon die by fire loose china's neck loose china's neck in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth we speak to the president of china in the realm of the spirit right now we speak to the president of china and we command you to have a damascus road experience we command the lord we command you to wake up in the middle of the night and acknowledge that jesus christ is in your presence that your that your your your, your whole strategy your whole mindset will change because you are the one that carries the power in china and so lord jesus christ of nazareth we pray that like you visited nebuchadnezzar like you visited pharaoh like like you visited kings of, of, of Israel over the past, God, that you will visit, hallelujah, what's his name, Xi Jinping, hallelujah, I think his name is, I, I don't care what his name is, visit, you know there is only one president of China, visit him, oh God Almighty, that he will kind of turn in the name of Jesus Christ, that he will turn and not burn, hallelujah, that your love he will earn because he turned in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, hallelujah. 
glorify yourself in his life oh god let him instead of depending on his his army his mighty man army and his mighty uh, arsenal of weapons let him depend on you lord jesus christ of nazareth lord we also ask that you will visit the other nations of the world too numerous to call oh god almighty from the smallest to the largest visit them now visit president biden oh god almighty lord you can't visit g pick g jing ming a uh, ping and not visit president biden god almighty that man of god i have nothing bad to say about him because you said we must pray for our leaders but god almighty he has been a proponent and a supporter of some things god that makes you cringe that makes you have to take holy ghost pepto bismal but god it is the influence of the devil he that's not his mandate it is the influence of the devil and so god we do not curse him we pray for him we pray god that he will come into the fullness of the knowledge and the wisdom that is required to make the right decisions to lead his country out of the state that they are in father we pray for the judges that are passing laws that will cause the country to to, to deteriorate to go into degradation to go into immoralities we pray, God, that you will touch those judges, Father, if they refuse, the Supreme Court judges, if they refuse to make the right decisions and uh, operate the way that you desire for them to operate, then God summarily eject them, remove them. They say that they are judges for life, but God, there have been changes since I started watching. At least two have been replaced because you have taken them out. God Almighty, we pray that none should perish. We want them to live long and prosper. We want them to do great things, but only for your name's sake. And so, God, whenever there is a document, whenever there is a law, whenever there is anything on their desk that is a, a, against the best welfare of an America that was built under God, God may it burn up, may it disappear, may it be lost, may it be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus, that America can once again be a nation whose God is the Lord in the name of Jesus. And so we speak the same thing for Australia we speak the same thing for all the nations of the world we speak the same thing for Finland God may Finland be a missionary country may Finland produce missionaries oh God Almighty that love you that prosper according to your will and purpose father we speak to canada god almighty their their prime minister i think his name is trudeau 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 i think that's that that's his name is that his name or the one from france that hallelujah whatever his name is the president of canada prime minister of canada god almighty i pray that he will focus more on moving canada to the next level in you than focusing on the things that will shut down that will destroy canada god almighty most of the presidents of the world now are under such demonic influence under such satanic influence that they are doing things that are not in the best welfare of their nation and don't even recognize it and so we speak to the prime minister of canada and we command the influence that is over him we command the scales over his eyes to be torn off now in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth and we declare your anointing upon him oh god that he will begin to make decisions that will make even the president of, of, of america go whoa what's going on there canada trying to outdo us they are trying to become the best nation in the world they are doing things in a different way from how we normally agree to do them as a, a pact I thank you, Lord God Almighty, for a transformation of the nation of Canada, beginning with their president in the name of Jesus. And I thank you, God, that the United States will follow suit and declare again that Jesus Christ is Lord. We declare that China, oh God Almighty, will stop fighting against the church and begin to embrace the church. We declare that Buddhism and dragon worship and every other kind of idolatrous worship that is taking place in China will cease and they will come into this place of peace in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray this morning for the for, for the, the state of Kentucky and all the other states around that were hit, uh, God Almighty, disastrously by this tornado. God Almighty, I saw the pictures on CNN and it's devastating. Houses, they look like just like when you scatter matches stick 
matchsticks all over the place god the whole whole city whole towns are gone whole 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 counties are gone just laying rubble 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 and so in some instances people may be underneath those rubble but god almighty we intercede for kentucky and the other states around that have been, that have felt the wrath of this tornado god we pray for them this morning we pray your peace we pray that they will recover we pray that they will be restored but not in the way that they were oh god may they be restored recognizing that yes america is a powerful country yes america is strong yes america will bounce back but not the same as they were because now you recognize that there are things that you cannot fire shots against there are things that you cannot legislate against there are things in the realm of the spirit that no amount of plan no amount of warning can stop the disaster that it can bring and so god is greater than the united states china russia and all the all the countries with their great nuclear arsenal with their great star wars weapons God is greater than all of you and so it, for those people who are from these nations and you are on this morning you got to declare that because God is greater than the president and the powers that be in this nation I declare by my legal status in this country that Jesus Christ is Lord come on declare it Jesus Christ is Lord over the place where you are come on Sharika declare Jesus Christ is Lord over Australia hallelujah Come on, hallelujah. Quenda, come on. Estrelita, declare Jesus Christ is Lord over America, over Florida. If you're in a particular state, declare Jesus Christ is Lord over your country. Jesus Christ is Lord over Finland. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus Christ is Lord over Canada. Come on, people of God, declare it, declare it, declare it. Jesus Christ is Lord over the United States, over China. Jesus Christ is Lord. It matters not what you think or what you see or what you hear jesus christ is still lord declare it jesus christ is lord over wherever you are in whatever situation you are undergoing jesus christ is still lord he is lord he was lord when peter was in prison he was lord when peter was free he was lord when paul was being stoned and he was lord when paul was free he was lord when paul was being killed and he was lord uh, and he's still lord today the Jesus Christ is Lord when you are broke and he's Lord when you have more than enough. Jesus Christ is Lord regardless of our situations and circumstance and we need to understand this. Uh, as we take this believer's journey, this believer's journey is one that we must know that no matter what we go through, Jesus Christ is still and will always be Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him, heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. So I thank you this morning, O great and sovereign God, for the move of your spirit upon every member of this family. Hallelujah. We thank you that every nation is blessed. We thank you that there is peace. And, and restorative power that has been released upon Kentucky and the other and the other states, oh God Almighty, that has been affected the other parts of the of the of the that state and the other states nearby that has been affected up to 200 miles. The tornado did a destructive path, oh God Almighty, and we thank you that restoration will come. But I thank you that it will not just come with the rebuilding of homes, oh God Almighty, but with the rebuilding of lives. We thank you, God Almighty, that they will come to recognize that you are Lord and only you can protect them. No warning system can protect them. No, no, no guns and ammo, no police, no national guard, come on, can protect the people of the nation from tornadoes. Only Jesus, only Jesus, only Jesus. I remember Pastor Marsha used to testify when she was teaching in North Carolina. She used to testify that when the tornado warnings would go off, she wouldn't sleep. She would declare, Jesus Christ, <clears throat> tornadoes, they say tornadoes are coming, but guess what? I am here. She would declare that because I am a child of God, I am a daughter of the Most High God, and I am here. The tornado cannot come here. Tornado, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ. Go, 
go around go over go under go wherever but you cannot destroy here so because i am here and she went stayed there for over a year and came back home safe and no tornado hit where she was but tornado warnings came tornadoes were on the way but when they heard the voice of the woman of god come on i'm preaching to somebody this morning when they heard the voice of the woman of god because god says we shall have what we what we say god says we're created in his image and likeness god says we have god inside of us therefore if god is inside of us and that same god that lives inside of us said let there be light let there be the earth let the firmament split come on let the sea stand still at the place where i tell it to stand still Come on, let the stars and the moon and the sun set in their strategic places in the heavens. Come on, that same God lives in us. You think that God can't talk to a tornado? The same God that lives in us spoke to the winds and the waves that the disciples says, what kind of man, what manner of man is this? Rabo, she, what manner of man is this that the winds and the waves obey him? And they were his friends, they were his brethren, but they had not yet received the the spirit of God in them we have received the spirit of God and yet still there are storms there are winds and waves that are blowing through our lives taking our children taking our marriages taking our finances taking our health and we are not speaking to them but this morning I declare by the the, the spirit of the living God this morning I declare by the authority that has been given to us from Genesis 1 27 all the way back to Matthew when Jesus said it is finished when at Pentecost when the disciples received the infilling of the Holy Ghost I go back to history and I declare that we stand on the historical manifestation and impartation of the Holy Spirit and fire in us in the mighty name of Jesus and we will not be defeated we will not be delayed we will not be denied but we will cry out in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that we have the victory hallelujah we have the victory hallelujah 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 the songwriter says we have the victory hallelujah we have the victory hallelujah again we have the victory hallelujah we have the victory hallelujah for every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that jesus is lord that jesus is lord every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that jesus is lord that jesus is lord hallelujah yes hallelujah satan defeated hallelujah one more time satan defeated hallelujah again satan defeated hallelujah for every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that jesus is lord that jesus is lord every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that jesus is lord that Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. 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 As we spoke his name, my God, I'm telling you guys, I'm feeling the presence. I don't know if it's the Lord or his angels, but it's one of them. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know some of you, as you were singing along, those who know the song, hallelujah, even those who don't know it, the atmosphere of the presence of the living God was permeating your atmosphere fear and you were feeling chills some were just feeling a lightness in the atmosphere hallelujah because as our knees bend as our knees bow as our tongue confess that jesus christ is lord the atmosphere shifts and he comes because he inhabits the praises of his people and in his presence is fullness of joy and at his right hand pleasures and i like to add treasures forevermore come on glory to god hallelujah praise god praise god what a mighty god we serve what a mighty god we serve hallelujah Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Satan is defeated and Satan is who come with storms. Hallelujah. He's the one who comes with winds and waves to get us to fear. He's the one come with crime and violence, with corruption, with scammers. He's the one come with tornadoes to destroy what God has built. And so we will not fear him. Why? Because he's defeated. And we say hallelujah to he who defeated him. 
Hallelujah. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him all creatures here below. Praise him above the heaven the earth. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So it's prayer Monday. It's the start of a new week. And we're going into the middle of the month of flourish. Hallelujah. I know that we've been flourish. Excuse me. We've been flourishing. Praise God. God has been doing awesome work. Testimonies have been coming in. And we've been just seeing the move of God, the hand of God upon ministries we're seeing a, 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 a shedding and a cutting back of all the things that COVID-19 had pushed upon us we're seeing a movement yesterday Pastor Marsha and I were um, were going out hallelujah on a little date yes once in a while we get to go on a date hallelujah I can't wait for the next date hallelujah I right, to sit around a plate and appreciate the beauty of my wife and as I use the fork and the knife Come on, glory to God. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless God. But as we were going on our little date to have a meal, I passed a place in Jamaica that's called Devon House, where 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 um we go to eat ice cream and and, and pastries and so on. It's a, a, a staple, a central point in Jamaica for children to just hang out and have picnic and play and just have a good time. It's a really nice, nice, nice place where you can get um, inexpensive food and drink and ice cream and so on so families gather there and we have not seen families gathering there for almost two years mm -hmm. almost two years COVID has shut down family activities but yesterday hallelujah Pastor Marshall looked over and says whoa the country open again COVID gone COVID stop keep COVID class shut down we graduate hallelujah I don't think it's that yet Praise God, but we're prophesying it. Amen. Um, and I'm saying not not that I'm speaking against that, but I don't think that's what the government has done as a result. But we're prophesying that even though they did it inadvertently, that's what will will come. Amen. So just want to make it clear for those who are listening and not at that place of maturity. They're thinking that Jamaica has opened the place and everything is now free for all and back to normal again. We're saying that in the spirit, but the government has not said that. So let it not be said that we're saying the government has opened the country and it's free for all and everybody can do their thing. But we saw families over Devon House and they were having a good time. Children were playing, eating ice cream and doing all kinds of stuff. And it was just such a joy, such a joy to see and to appreciate the goodness of God, the goodness of God, the hand of God upon this nation and the other nations. Amen. And so, Father, we pray against this the, the spirit of the omni omniron omnicron, the omnicron variant of the of the the the, the COVID nineteen. We pray against it, Lord. Lord, no fanfare, no loud shouting, no carrying on. We just say to you, Father, we are your sons. We come humbly before you, and we say, Daddy, this thing is this thing is out of control. This thing is out of control. This thing has been going on now for a long time. Whatever it is that you desire to teach us, whatever it is that you want to, however you wanted to bring us to a place of understanding, a place of prayer, a place of repentance, a place of humility, I believe that the point has been made and we now understand. We now understand that the same way Kentucky was devastated by this tornado that they could do nothing about, the same way the world have been devastated by COVID-19 and its various variants. And we could do nothing about it. We think we have done something about it, but we haven't. Because it is still mutating and jumping and demonstrating its ability to elude man's abilities outside of God. And so, Father, may even the very scientists come to recognize that they are at their wit's end. That it is like a wind and a wave that you can only ride out unless Jesus Christ is in the boat, saying, peace, be still. We thank you this morning, O God, that peace be still is spoken to every variant of COVID-19. Whatever sinister plan or plot may, may exist behind closed doors to destroy, to delete, to eradicate, to cut back on the population, as it is rumored and said, I cancel that assignment. I cancel that plot. 
Father, as you confused the people at the Tower of Babel, confuse and destroy every plan that is being hatched or hatched or fetched, whatever, behind closed doors. Every negotiation, everything that is happening, whether online, by phone, or in person, that is designed to unceremoniously kill people, to cause them to think that it is cancer or any other disease, when it is really strategically the plan of man, so that they can their, and their friends and family can benefit. We destroy that plan if it so exists. If it so exists, O oh God, you see and know the same way you saw the priest in the temple in Jerusalem praying to the sun God and you took Ezekiel who was a mere man who could never know this was happening. You took him and showed him them. So, O oh God Almighty, take us and show us the plans, the meetings that are taking place that we might know strategically and specifically how to pray against them, against their works against their Luciferian system in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you, God, for what you have already done. And we thank you that it is well with us and with our souls and with our nations. In Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Okay, so today is prayer Monday. You all know that once you come in on a Monday, it's prayer to set the tone for the week. Prayer to, to maintain the high level of flourish anointing on the month. Hallelujah. And so majority of Monday, sometimes we don't even get to do anything else but pray. But today we're going to sneak in a few, hallelujah, in a few minutes, some of the word. Hallelujah, hallelujah. How much time do I have left, uh, Pastor Marsha? Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Hallelujah. Grace is the, great is the faithfulness of our God. So for this week, we want to be looking at hallelujah the year of the lord's favor the year of the lord's favor come on hallelujah 2022 we are declaring prophesying speaking believing trusting god that 2022 will be the year of god's favor come on um arrows 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 international radio listeners Please, I want you to declare in the atmosphere, just like you guys on Instagram, on, on, on Facebook, and on YouTube, declare 2022 the year of the Lord's favor. The year of the Lord's favor. 2022 is the year of the Lord's favor. Come on, not just favor on you and on your family, but favor in the place where you live, favor in your community, favor in your house, favor in your nation. The year of the Lord's favor. Come on, the Lord's favor shall be evident in your space and place in your life. Those who desire to have a promotion at, at work, 2022, you will get it. Come on. Hallelujah. Those who desire to be married, 2022, it shall be so in the name of Jesus Christ. Those who desire, hallelujah, to be healed, 2022, it shall be so in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on. Whatever it is that you desire, 2022 is the year of the Lord's favor. And the Lord's favor produces uncommon blessing. Amen. Praise God. That's it. And our 2022, remember, everything that we pray uh, starts the moment we start praying it. So just like um, our, our new month starts on the 30th or 31st of the, the ending month, come on, because we're always ahead of the enemy. So when the enemy hears us say 2022 will be the year of the Lord's favor, he's going on to January, January 1 and waiting for us to block us. But we're already at January 1, right now, today. So he's late and cannot de de delay, de derail, or deny our blessings again. And so 2022 is the year of God's favor. And so this week we're going to be looking intently at Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so Isaiah 61 verse 1 Praise God. Isaiah 61 verse 1 says, The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord, in the NIV version, The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is on me, because the Lord has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So basically what uh, the, 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 this is saying here is that the Spirit of the Lord that is in us, 
is different from when the Spirit of the Lord come upon us. The Spirit of the Lord come upon us to do exceedingly abundantly above all we could ask, think or imagine. The Spirit of the Lord comes upon us to do miracles, signs and wonders. The Spirit of the Lord, that's why the Spirit of the Lord, in the same way that the Spirit of the Lord left uh, uh, Saul, come on, and he was out of God's favor, the Spirit of the Lord can leave a man of God even today. Not the Spirit that is in him, but the Spirit of the Lord that comes upon him. And so when you want to know that the Spirit of the Lord that comes upon a man of God or a woman of God to do great miracles, one sign that you can look at, hallelujah, one sign that you can look at is that 90% of their testimonies is, are, are, are in the past. Amen? 90% of their testimonies are in the past. There are no new testimonies of prophetic words that come to pass. No new testimonies of people that have been healed, but they're still in ministry. They're still actively preaching and teaching every day. They're still actively demonstrating that Jesus Christ is Lord. But their testimonies of the magnificence of God through them is past. Five years ago, I prayed for a man who got up out of a wheelchair. Okay, so that was the last man that was in a wheelchair anywhere in the world or anywhere in your country. Two years ago, I prayed for a blind man and, and, and his eyes opened and we gave God glory and God was awesome and we magnif magnified the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. But are there no other blind men? I pass blind men every day. There was one in a plaza just the other day. What happened, Rowan? Why you didn't give it bring, bring forth his sight? Hallelujah. The moment that God allows me by his spirit and by faith to open blind eye, I'm going to be opening blind eyes until I die or until Jesus say enough. I don't want everybody to see. He has to tell me that everybody can't see. And so our job is to stay in God as the spirit of the Lord stays upon us. We stay in the spirit and the spirit will stay upon us. Because if the spirit of God is not upon us, then we will only have past testimonies of when the spirit of God was upon us. Now, don't mix them up. Let me say this again slowly. The spirit of the Lord that is in us because of salvation, because of acceptance of Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, that spirit cannot, cannot leave us. Are you hearing me? Jesus says, I will never leave you or forsake you. It is the spirit that he has given us inside, like at Pentecost, that is permanent. Even if we do evil things, even if we end up even going to hell, we would have had to ignore the spirit of God in us permanently in order to go to hell. But the spirit of God will not be taken from us. Amen. But the Spirit of God that is upon us to do work, to preach the gospel, to go, to be, and to do in the might and power of God, that's the Spirit of God. It's the same Spirit, you know. Don't get confused. It's the same Holy Spirit. It's not two different Spirit. But the Spirit of God manifests for the work of God, and the Spirit of God manifests in us to work through us for maturity, for development so that we can work for God in a greater level. Lord, I hope that wasn't too difficult to understand. So there's the Spirit of God that works in us, that tells us, don't do that, do this. Things like discernment, fruit, gifts, uh, uh, the, the, the manifestation, all the things that are in the Spirit of God, that is, that is designed to build our character and nature, those things operate from the Spirit of God that is in us. But then when we go to minister, when we go to preach, that's why sometimes even when you hear me preaching here, I would like, I would say like, whoa, what a revelation that just came. I didn't know that before. That just came. That's the spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. That has come upon me. When you feel the goosebumps, come on. When you feel the goosebumps and you feel like, whoa, and you're, you're in the spirit and you're just saying things that you didn't know, you're prophesying and these kinds of things. That's the spirit of the Lord come upon you. But it's the same spirit that lives in you. But that spirit that comes upon you can cease. He can stop operating that way. So if you're in sexual immorality, if you're a habitual liar, or if you have become a habitual liar after the Spirit of God begins to move upon you. You start to tell people lie to get money. 
you start to trick people and tell them the spirit of the lord says that um, as we go into isaiah 61 that 61 persons are online and 61 persons can give a thousand us dollars god says 61 people out of all who are online both on arrows and on, on instagram and on facebook can give 61 dollars and some can give six thousand one hundred dollars the spirit of the lord says you are you are able 61 of you that's not true that's a lie and so as you begin to habitually lie, the spirit of the Lord lifts. The spirit of manifestation, the spirit that draw the people unto you will no longer be there. So be careful, people of God, as you matriculate, as you evolve, as you mature, as you grow and God begins to use you. Please do not call the Lord's name in vain. Please, I'm begging you stay within the context and the confines of this that says the spirit of the sovereign lord is on me because the lord has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor how are you telling poor people that they have they can give 61 dollars us and 6100 us no hallelujah the king james version of the same the same scripture says the spirit of the lord god is upon me because the lord have anointed me to preach good tidings into the meek, unto the meek. That's the same as the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. Come on. He has sent me to not only preach the gospel, but to bind up brokenhearted, to heal those people, those men and women that have been used and abused and confused. Hallelujah. That have been scammed and, 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 and corrupt. Corruption has, has, has victimized them. They have lost loved ones. They're hurting. They have lost relations, relationships. They have lost marriages. Some of them have lost children. When it's the parents, should be, the children should be burying the parents. All different kinds of hurt. God says those who the Spirit of the Lord is upon are destined to come and bind up those broken hearts. Come on. To proclaim liberty to the captives. That's deliverance. Come on. Hallelujah. The moment Pastor Marsha and I go to a deliverance session, and we say, devil, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord rebuke you. Come out. And the devil go, ha, 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 You ain't got no power. <laughs> you better go buy some flour and go make some dumpling and have a feast. Because you are the least. That means the spirit of the Lord has left us. And we need to go back in prayer and fasting and say, God, whatever it is we did, we are sorry. Please forgive us. Because what God has commanded us to do, where God has sent us, requires that we must cast out devils, require that we must heal the sick, require that we must raise the dead, require that the blind must see, the deaf must hear, require that a now move, a now anointing, a now word of encouragement must be released all the time, a now, now, now word. Yes, we can be encouraged from the testimony, but if your testimony is longer than a week, Jesus Christ, you must seek. Hallelujah. Okay. To, um, to, to, to heal the sick. Hey, Matthew 10, verse 8 says, Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy, drive out demons. Hallelujah. Freely you have received, freely you must give. Come on. Hallelujah. So, hey, Jesus, man, the presence of God is rich in this place. So God has given us a, the gift of the Holy Spirit. And he says, freely, as I have given you, you must utilize the Spirit of God to drive out devils, to heal the sick, to raise the dead. Come on, to set at liberty them that are bruised. The wounded must be healed. We have gotten this free gift of the Holy Spirit. And most of us, for too many years, have not done anything with him. The Holy Spirit has, he has yawned, he has slept, he has woken up and slept again. He is so rested, it's not funny in some of our lives. But we have to change that. And so in this dispensation, in order to truly walk in a year of the Lord's favor, we have to start stimulating. We have to wake up the Holy Spirit again. Wake up, Holy Spirit, wake up. Wake up, Holy Spirit. Let's go. There's work to be done. We must go preach the gospel. We must declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. We must cast out devils. Come on, Holy Spirit, it's time to work. You've been resting long enough. Come on, hallelujah. I want you to say this to the Holy Spirit this morning. He gets excited. He's not going to be offended. Come on, Holy Spirit, it's time to go to work. 
2022 is here. It's time to go to work. Holy Spirit that lives in me. It's time to heal the sick. Come on, repeat after me. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. 2022 is here. 2022 is here. We've been lazy before. We've been lazy before. And blocking, and blocking your work. But we repent. But we repent. And we're ready to go to work. And we're ready to go to work. 2022. 2022. Shall be the favor from you. Let's go, Holy Spirit. Let's go, Holy Spirit. Let's do some work. Let's do some work. Let's bind up broken hearts. Let's bind up broken Let's hearts. Let's heal some sick. Let's heal some sick. Let's open some blind eyes. Let's open some blind eyes. Let's cause some deaf ears to hear. Let's cause some deaf ears to hear. Some deaf tongue, deaf, uh, mute tongues to be unloosed. New tongues be unloosed. And let's set some people free. And let's set some people let's free. Go, Holy Spirit. Let's go, Holy Spirit. Charge into 2022. Charge into 2022. And let's see what we can do. And let's see what we can do. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we're excited. We're going into 2022 with the goodness of the Lord. Uh, so just want to say to you that the spirit of the Lord that is upon us, that spirit in the Hebrew is Ru. Uh, Ruhak, Ruhak, which means wind, breath. The Spirit of the Lord is referred to as the Holy Spirit. So the breath of God is what lives in us. So every time our breath comes forth, we hear a sound, but we see nothing. That breath is supposed to be the Holy Spirit coming out of us. That is why we have to watch what we say, because what we say has life, have life. Amen. Hallelujah. And one example uh, is done by the, the, the Spirit of the Lord. Things that are done by the Spirit of the Lord uh, when we speak. The Spirit of the Lord inspired the prophets to utter their prophecies. So when we prophesy, it must be from the Spirit of the Lord. So when the Spirit of the Lord is in us or the Spirit of the Lord is upon us, we can prophesy. Saul was riding with the prophets. And because the spirit of the prophets were there, the spirit of prophecy came upon him and he prophesied to the point he was so accurate that people said, is Saul now numbered among the prophets? Amen. One other, one other thing that the spirit of the Lord does is it produces and controls the message of the prophets. So the spirit of the Lord produces and control the spirit of the prophets. Hallelujah. And also the Spirit of the Lord will be poured out in the latter days on all flesh, imparting prophecy, dreams and visions, according to Joel 2, 28 and Joel 3, verse 1. And so these are things that the Holy Spirit does. All these things are things that the Holy Spirit does. And we must not block them, but facilitate them because he can only use us to do great and mighty things. Amen. Hallelujah. So that's our Monday devotion for this morning. Hallelujah. We are going to now have communion. We're going to pick up this week, man, and we're going to catapult ourselves like an arrow out of a bow into 2022 with a dangerous mission. Like David, we're going to pursue, overtake, and recover all. Like Abraham, we're going to go after Lot because our lots have been stolen. Come on. Hallelujah. Each of us have a lot that has been stolen. Some of us is health. Some of us is marriage. Some of us is finance. Some of us is business. All different kinds of things represent our lot that have been stolen. And so we are going to pursue with what is in our house. Come on. Glory to God. Glory to God. We are going to pursue that chapter with what is in our house. Like Abraham took the 300 and odd servants that were in his house and just declare over them. He must have laid hands on them and declare that you are now no longer a servant. You're a mighty warrior. And as they went, they were able to defeat the enemies and took back what was rightfully theirs including spoils come on so we i am laying hands on you this morning i am laying hands on you because you are in my house i'm laying hands on you arrows family and i'm saying that we are a mighty army and we are going to pursue overtake and recover all that have been stolen from us in the spirit of abraham and david in the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah hallelujah father we thank you for this morning Thank you for your love, for your blessings, for your favor towards us and upon us. May your blessings that make rich and add no sorrow 
cover us, guard and keep us. Protect us from every failings. Protect us, O oh God, from falling into the trap of, 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 of worshipping the season. But may we know the reason for the season and not be charged with treason in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Adultery, uh, 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 idolatry, I should say, is treason. We will worship no other God. We will worship no other God. Always remember, when you gather as family in this season, remember that Jesus Christ is the reason for the season. I know that it is commercialized and even more so in some countries. But I beg of you, people of God, please, please, please be bold and very courageous. If your family members are, are, are going in a different direction and they want to, to, to drag you with them and you're the only one saying Jesus is the reason for the season, don't be afraid to stand in a corner by yourself. Don't be afraid to back away. Don't be afraid to be at the table but not engage in a conversation that will cause you to be charged for treason. We must be bold in this season. Come on, glory to God. We will not facilitate any idolatry. I beg of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we thank you, Lord, for boldness and for strength. And we thank you that it is well in Jesus' name. Grab your communion. Grab your communion. Communion time. Communion time in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Father, we sanctify and consecrate these emblems even now. We pray your blessings upon them. We pray that you will sanctify them to our bodies and to our blood. That God, your body will become our body and your blood, our blood. That we might truly walk in the fullness of your character and nature according to your will and purpose. In Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. Amen and amen. And as the Lord Jesus Christ took the bread, he blessed it and broke it. He gave it to the disciples and he said, eat, this is my body broken for you. As often as you eat of it, you do it in remembrance of me. Eat ye all of it in faith, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And likewise, he took the cup. He blessed it and took a sup. And he said, drink, this is my blood the blood of the new covenant as often as you drink of it you do it in remembrance of me you do it in remembrance of my death burial and resurrection until i come drink ye all of it in faith in jesus name hallelujah hallelujah blessed be the name of the lord thank you so much for joining us this morning for spending time with us thank you arrows family hallelujah from finland to china Praise God from whom all blessings flow. USA, hallelujah. Praise God. We thank God for each and every one of you in the Caribbean. I didn't see Aruba this morning. The Aruban uh, didn't wake up, but praise God. Hallelujah. It is well. And uh, praise God for from Australia to Israel to all the nations of the world and all who are represented here in this family on this altar on this platform we bless god for you and we pray that you will go forth and do something great especially in this month for the less fortunate and for those who god desire to bless be god's hands and feet be his mouthpiece in this season so that you can practice to take the favor of god in 2022 just like you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah may the lord bless you and keep you may the lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you may the lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace in the name of jesus christ hallelujah go forth family and have an amazing day god's way for our god has already shaken everything that is evil out of your day his way in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember, Jesus love you and we love the world our own too. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go forth. Go forth. Have a great day. Today is Christine's son's birthday. Brian. Brian, today's Brian's birthday. Hallelujah. Help me celebrate. 
Brian's birthday. Hallelujah. Come on, Brian. We got to sing happy birthday for Brian before we go. Come on. One, two. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you there, Brian. Happy birthday. I make a sing now. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you there, Brian. Happy birthday. Brian, you're a champion. You're a lion. Hallelujah. From Zion. Praise God. Jesus is the lion of the tribe of Judah. And so Jesus died on the cross for Brian. And so because Jesus died on the cross, Brian, you are able to prosper in the season. We speak peace. We speak blessing. We speak favor over your life. May you prosper and be in good health even as your soul prospers. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Arrows International Family. Bye. See you. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow, same time, same place, where we continue to declare the year of the Lord's favor in Jesus' name. Bless you. Bye. Hallelujah.